Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek. And this pint-sized electric bike in front of me today is the Propella Mini. We're gonna take it for a spin and you're coming along with us. Let's check it out. The Propella Mini is basically a scaled down version of Propella's larger single speed electric bike. But despite the smaller frame and 20 inch wheels, it still rides just as nicely. And that smaller format means it's both lighter at just 33 pounds and easier to fit into an urban lifestyle, like wiggling into an elevator. The bike is also quite nimble thanks to those smaller wheels. The motor is rated at 250 watt continuous and 400 watts peak, and that feels plenty powerful to me, though I was mostly riding on flat ground. I think it'd be fine for modest hills, but 400 watts isn't going to climb up any insane hills without some serious input from you. Speaking of input, I should also mention right away here that this is a pedal assist only e-bike. There is no throttle, so feel free to click away now if you only do throttle e-bikes. As much fun as the throttle can be though, I've had such a good time riding the Propella Mini that I barely miss it. The bike just rides so easily and smoothly that it's simply a joy to cruise on. I'm even surprised that the pedal cadence feels so good at its top speed of 18.5 miles per hour. The 46 tooth chainring and 16 tooth freewheel pair nicely with those 20 inch tires, so it feels comfortable to pedal all the way up to its max. Now I would have loved some more speed, but that would be a big ask to get a good pedal cadence at something like class 3 speeds, so I'm pretty happy with where this landed. And keep in mind that it's a city e-bike, particularly designed for dense urban areas and wiggling around cramped cities, so it's not really a sprinting bike anyways. The battery here is nice and compact, though the 250 watt hours isn't terribly high capacity. Even so, I found that I was getting ranges of around 15 to 20 miles when sticking to around a pedal assist level of 4, and if you hang out in the 1 to 2 pedal assist level range where you're doing more of the work yourself, then the company's claimed 35 mile range is probably more achievable. I mentioned that the bike rides nice and smoothly, and that's true, but without suspension, it's probably best to avoid cobblestones, pavers, or the worst of the potholes. Even so though, the bike still rides surprisingly well, even with those narrow tires and no suspension. Speed bumps are a bit of a doozy, but they're still fun to ramp off of. The bike feels so solid that it's almost got this BMX feel to it when you do stuff like this, which is weird, but what can I say, the thing is well put together. I would have loved to see it come with a few more accoutrements, like maybe some built-in lights or a set of fenders, but I get that the whole point is that this is a minimalist electric bike. You can add those things, but out of the box, the Propella Mini comes with just the bare necessities. You don't even get extra gears, it's a single speed e-bike. That's fine by me though, since I actually really like single speeds on e-bikes. The electric assist makes up for the lack of a low gear, and you never have to deal with shifting, you're always in the right gear. As a city bike, the fewer components, the better. There are even other nice considerations for the city-centric audience, such as the hex bolt for the seat post clamp instead of a quick release, which just helps cut down on theft of opportunity of your saddle. All in all, I'd say I'm very impressed with the Propella Mini, especially for its low price of 999 bucks. Even though it's a minimalist bike, you're still getting a lot here. The Shimano disc brakes are nice and strong, the touch points are comfortable, both on the saddle and the bar grips, and the color scheme is also nice, which is good because there's only one color to choose from, black with blue accents. It looks classy though, with nice blue anodized rims, and the white chain certainly pops too. If anything, I'd recommend using a second lock in the city since the bike actually looks more expensive than it is, and I can imagine it being an attractive target to thieves because of that. For a nice riding, lightweight, and nimble electric bike at under a thousand bucks, I'd say Propella has done quite well here. It's not a powerhouse, and it's not the longest range e-bike out there, but it's not meant to be either. It's an urban commuter that trades big motors and big batteries for more convenient city use, and that's a fair trade-off for a lot of riders out there. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Propella Mini. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.